Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to SSH on Bluehost. So the first thing this we'd like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section and simply type bluehost.com and hit the enter button, which will actually take you into this page, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Bluehost website. Of course, if you want to log in into your account and if you already have it, simply click as login button at the top right corner. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to click at get started or simply because this choice will get you to choose a plan and it's going to be a bit expensive because you will have to commit with them for one year. You can simply just go and buy your own domain by clicking at this domains option right here. And of course, it will take you to the page that will give you the opportunity to buy your domain from and from there you can start and create your account with that way also so for me i'm just going to click at login which will log in into my account directly because i already logged in into my account in this pc and this is going to be my screen once i logged in into my account so as we said in the beginning of this tutorial we would like to show you how to ssh so the first thing is just click at the advanced button on this left panel once you click on it this will open the control panel tab so let's just wait for this page until it loaded and once you are here simply you'll have to go here to find functions quickly by typing here and simply type ssh access and as you can see before even if you finish the sentence you will find it here so simply click on it and that should take you to the sss access page as you can see from here you can read all of this if you are interested and simply once you understand what is SSH, if you don't know, you can simply click on manage SSH now. SSH now. As you can see here, you can actually import your key or you can generate a new key if you don't have one. So simply from here, you can do whatever you want with SSH and once you finish, you can simply click at go back and you will be good to go. So this will be actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.